All right, so here's the box that it comes in. And if we pop the top open on that, you'll see that there's a bunch of cables and accessories on the inside. I'll go through them one by one. Here's the remote control that comes with it. It's white, it's pretty nice. It's very simple, easy to use. Uh, they give you a HDMI cable. That's about three feet long. It's not the longest one, but it's nice they provide it. They give you a power cable. Now this needs to be plugged into the projector at all times because it is not a portable projector. They give you audio video components. So if you wanted to hook up like an old school DVD type player, you could do that. And a user's manual. This will basically tell you how to get it started and how to hook it up and everything. Here's a projector, very nice, very sleek looking. I'm gonna look at that up close in a second, but basically that's everything that comes in the box. So let's go ahead and see what this projector is all about. All right, so here's the projector itself. And the first thing you'll notice is right on the front, it says Android version. There is an identical projector like this that is not the Android version. And it's a little bit cheaper than this one, but it works just about the same. So if you look up here, all right, you basically have some navigation buttons up, down, left, right. This is for the main menu when you're looking at the menu. And then you have your enter button. So this is how you're gonna navigate if you're not using the remote controller. This is gonna be your options. This switch is your source. And this is your power button. Now up here, you have two different knobs. This one is gonna be your focus. And that's how you make the picture clearer if it's out of focus. And then this one is actually your swivel. So when you use the swivel, if you have the projector aiming upwards, you can use the swivel to make it balance itself out. Like basically it's gonna make the picture go up or downwards. So depending on the angle that you're aiming this, you can use the swivel. Now on the back side here, you have your audio video. You have a HDMI 1 slot, HDMI 2, so you can have two HDMIs hooked up to this at the same time. You have your USB port. This is for a computer. If you actually wanted to hook up a PC to this, you could hook up a laptop or a desktop and use this projector as your screen. And then you have this for a direct TV. This is your power port. This needs to be plugged in at all time, guys. This is not a portable projector. It is a mini projector, which is nice, but you can't take this on the go without the power cable. Down here you have a speaker. I have to admit this speaker gives out a pretty decent sound for a small projector. And then over here you have a spot for an SD card and you also have a headphone jack. Now you can use this headphone jack to hook up an external speaker if you wanted to hear this a little bit louder, you could do that. And that's your lens right there on the front. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and I am gonna turn it on with the PlayStation 4 hooked up so you guys could see how clear the picture looks. All right, so here's the user interface. It's very simple. Up on the top left, you have Android. Underneath, you have the audio video component. Uh, your next source is the computer, PC, USB. You have your HDMI 1 and you have HDMI 2. And then on the right, you have the uh, DirecTV option. Now, I already hooked it up with the HDMI 1. And this is my PlayStation 4. And it was running 1080p. Um, upscales it to 1080p. And this is The Witcher 3. Now... I chose this game because it's very clear, has a lot of nice landscape, and I just wanted to run around for a minute and show you guys how clear this actually looked. Now this is at about 80 inches on the wall. It looks very, very good, and it can get up to 130 inches. So this isn't even maxed out at its full capacity, but I did want to show you guys the clarity of it, and you could see, I mean, it's, it's really clear at nighttime. I have all the lights off and I have the blinds closed. This is actually during the daytime, but if the lights are on, it is a little bit dim and it's hard to see, but at nighttime, it's very, very clear. Now, I wanted to show you guys the exact size right here. I got the tape measure flopping it around and I was able to stretch it out long enough to see the full length of the screen and it was exactly 80 inches, which I'm showing you guys here. I got to focus the camera a little bit and you could see 80 inches that's a pretty clear picture for 80 inches. All right, so there you guys go. That is the Ericsson Bluetooth Wi-Fi Android projector. This thing kicks ass. You could see how clear it was when I just put the images up. I showed you a little bit of The Witcher 3 and it is very clear. For $130, you get 1200 lumens, very bright. It's actually said to be 20% brighter than regular LED projectors and I believe that. Now, if you're in a room with all the lights on, don't expect to see the image. That's just the way that it works. When you get these less expensive projectors, their best quality is gonna be in a dark environment. So if you have blackout curtains in your living room and you're looking to make your living room like a movie theater, this is it. You could stream stuff straight from your Android. You can go ahead and play Netflix, play movies, 
just cast it right onto this thing. That means that you could set this thing up somewhere, never touch it, play stuff right off of your phone, use the remote control for it. You really can't go wrong. And if you do like this, go ahead and check the link down below in the description. It'll be at its best current price. So when you click that link, it'll automatically take you to the sale price. If this thing is on sale and this video happens 